right, so we have talked about transposing of data, and we said when you use transpose data in Power Query, it is going to convert your data rows into columns. And that simply means that the entire data table is going to be affected by this transformation because all rows are going to be transformed into columns. Now, the other type of data transformation that affects the shape of our data in terms of orientation is on pivoting of data columns. Now, when we unpivot columns, what happens is column headers or certain column headers that we select for unpivot operation are going to go into a new data column. And this is usually better when we take a look at an example. So, you know the routine already. I'm going over to my desktop and I'm going to my Power Query Essentials folder. And in this folder, I have this number five Excel workbook called Unpivot. So let's open up the Unpivot workbook. So in this workbook, you are going to see that we have two worksheets as usual. We have the Unpivot and we have the clean version of it in terms of how it should look like when we are done cleaning this. So if I go back to the Unpivot worksheet, nothing looks out of the ordinary here. Merely looking at this, it looks like a properly kept data. However, when we are discussing tabular data sets, every single data category that seems to form a natural grouping are meant to have their own columns. Just the way we have a column for all the cities in the data set right here, and we have a column for all the states in the data set right here, what you might not see ordinarily is that every single column from this column C all the way to column N represent a particular data group that have a natural grouping for months. If we are going to talk about the variables that we can observe from this data, for example, then you know that in this data set you are looking at, we've got a couple of cities there, we've got a couple of states, and we'll also have a couple of months. So ideally, all these months that currently form headers in this data set are not supposed to be headers for us to be able to do analysis with this data set. We are supposed to have them in a single column that is going to be called months, and then all the values that come underneath them are going to form their pairs in a new column. So for example, if you look at the January column, for example, if we check through how many values are there under the January column, we are going to see that we have about 26 values under the January column. So by the time we apply an unpivot operation to this, we are going to have all these months lined up in a new column. And then their value pairs are going to be in a column in front of that new column. So when we do an unpivot, we're expected to have something like this. And you can see that January, for example, had 26 value pairs which simply means when we now take all those columns from headers into new columns like this, we expect to have 26 appearances of January, which you can see right here. So let's see how to perform on pivot in Power Query. So here in my Power BI, I'm going to get data from Excel workbook and I'm connecting to the number five file on pivot. And again, I only need to bring in the unpivot one, and I'm going to click on transform data to open up my Power Query editor. So again, what unpivot really does is to take column headers or certain column headers that are selected, convert them into values in a new column. So what we are going to do to this, if I select my CT column here, and then I hold my control key to select my state column. I can go over to my transform tab and select my on pivot columns right here. However, in the on pivot column option, you are going to see that it comes with a drop down for different options. And since I have city and state selected, and I only want to on pivot the months, that means the option available to me right now is to use the on pivot other columns. Another option you have is when you select the city and the state column like this, you can just right click on any of the two headers of the selected columns and you will also find the same option to unpivot other columns. 
So I'm going to go with this option too right now. So when I click on pivot order columns, what's going to happen is all those headers of January, February, March are going to go into a new column that is going to be called attributes and their value pairs are simply going to go inside another new column that is going to be called value. Now, since we were expecting to have 26 occurrences of January alone, if you have the time and you do a count through, you are going to see that we should have 26 versions of January here. Now, usually when you do an on pivot, the default column names that will come out will be attribute and value, attribute and value. They always come out as a pair like that. So what you can do is to rename the columns to what it should be naturally. So for example, this is meant to be called months, while this should be called maybe sales or whatever the actual data is meant to be. However, instead of creating a new applied step or a new query step here, we can easily just go into the M formula bar right here and we are going to see where the attribute name was coined and we can easily just erase that out and type in here M-O-N-T-H and then here we can call these sales. And then I'll go over here to hit the check mark to say that I'm done with these edits. So, and that's it. That's how to unpivot columns power query. Again, easy and straightforward. But I've got some other examples to show you.